What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of BKNY Hoops. If you're new to the channel, I am your host as always, Rashid White. All right, you guys actually see the title. You see the thumbnail there. I want to get into Noah Clowney and why I believe he should be the Nets' priority right now, not Nick Claxton. Nick Claxton is actually on an expiring. I just don't think he has a lot of value and, and, and you know, what, what a lot of media pundits are actually saying and I, I don't really understand why Sean Marks is actually I'm sorry Jock Vaughn is actually playing playing him and I don't know if that decision is actually coming from the top in terms of Sean Marks or um Jock Vaughn just you know, like stubborn stubborn will, will, you know willingness not to make any type of change whatsoever you know now um now I believe Noah Clowney is definitely much more not to say that he's more skilled than Nick Claxton but like in terms of a better shooter um and just like a better maybe he is more skilled right in terms of like if you're gonna put him put him at the five position as a five i would say he's actually really much more skilled right now we're gonna get into some highlights of uh noah Clowney right there and uh let's see what we got let's see what we got here let's see we're gonna go with the first one and let's go with this one right here 22.6 rebounds three blocks versus the main celtics All right, so y'all see he can actually really spread the floor. He can actually hit the threes. And um, I know a lot of people were saying, yo, Jock Vaughn doesn't actually want him to actually take three-pointers. I said, that's crazy because there's a lot of, you know, centers in the NBA that can, you know, if they can hit the threes, it's, it's definitely a benefit, man, because it provides a lot of spacing on the floor. I had some good defense by Clowney. All right, I, you know, I haven't seen Claxton able to do this over here, man. Um, not in like large spurts, man. Very minimal right here, man. It's like, I, you know, the best thing with him is to actually really kind of catch a lob, a lob pass. I mean, that's what's going to really get him his high percentage in terms of points. All right, so he protects the rim just like Claxton does. He actually looks much bigger than Claxton in terms of like muscle physique. physique. All right, so what are we doing? We have a guy over here that can actually space the floor. Now, I don't know if Jacques Vaughn doesn't really want that. I don't know what's up with that. But, <laughs> I mean, listen, this would put, put, uh, give Cam Thomas and Mikhail Bridges a lot more room to operate over here, man. I mean, just you know, you love you love how he actually moves without the basketball over there, man. It's just and from what I'm actually seeing, and even like against the Milwaukee Bucks game, I'm gonna show those clips in a second. That he really has a high basketball IQ. All right, so what I want to see from him is like actually passing and when a defense actually collapses, on, collapses in on him. So let's go into like the Boston game. I'm sorry, the Milwaukee Bucks game. Uh, where was it over here? 14 points, four rebounds, two assists versus the Bucks. Now you actually got to really understand that the uh, Milwaukee Bucks, I forgot what team they actually played. They, they had an embarrassing loss the previous time they actually, the previous game before, you know, we played them. And... You know, this wasn't actually like a throwaway game over here from the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, let's see. Hold on. All right, again, this is from ZH Highlights. Uh, definitely get those ball hog gloves. And you got to show support to, like, the channels out there, man. Because they don't make any money on these on these these highlights. I don't think so, man. You know, you know YouTube actually, I mean, I'm sorry, the NBA, and you know, takes all the uh, monetization money off this. All 
All right, so he actually makes the right reads. He's very patient, you know, he, didn't, he doesn't seem like too overwhelmed by the moment there. Yeah, man, this, I love how he actually sets screens, man. I mean, like I said, to me, like I said, he's a really, really high basketball IQ player, man. All right, I see how he actually follows the, I mean, he just, this, this guy can actually really play. I mean, he has really, really great hands, man. I mean, really, really good hands. You see, like, how his hands is already, his, his hands are out, and he's actually ready to catch the ball. Um, <laughs> I really love this kid over here, man. I don't know. It's like Jacques, Jacques Vaughn or either Sean Mark, something with, between Jacques Vaughn and his, and, like, he doesn't like floor space and bigs, where the rest of the NBA really likes those guys. You know, we see Harry Giles that can actually really... Uh, uh, spread the flow out. We haven't seen a large sample size of that, but in Portland, he was 34.3% from the three-point line. Now, um, in terms of like Coxton, you know, we actually we got to look at the top centers in the NBA. They actually have him as a center right now. I don't think that's his real position, but let's go all the way down to the bottom here. And of course, we already know it's Jokic. Um, all right, it's already it's Jokic. So Jokic, then you have uh, Joel Embiid, you have DeMontis Sabonis, uh, Bam, Ibayo, you have Miles Turner. I, I'll take Claxton over Miles Turner. Um, Victor went, of course. So like I said, for the most part, I mean, Nick Claxton is not even like a top 15 center right here, okay? I mean, he's really, like I said, a backup at, at, at best. I think Nikola uh, Vujicic, he actually gives us more offense which we're actually lacking right now man you know and i know jacques vaughn he's a defensive coach and i think that's really more or less the problem right there that jacques vaughn really values defense over offense so i mean offense i, I would say offense is actually much more critical than defense man you actually have to score the basketball man <laughs> Like when Nick Claxton out there is five on four basketball, yeah, I would take Rudy Gobert over uh, over um, Nick Claxton. So they got Nick Claxton at, at, at Claxton at number nine as the ninth best center in the NBA. You know, but the, you know, there's a whole thing over here, man. All you know, DeAndre Ayton offensively is actually better than Nick Claxton. You know, all these guys are like 240 and up. Um, Brook Lopez, we can, we'll definitely take him over Nick Claxton. He can actually space the floor. You know. Um, Shangoon should be ahead of Claxton. You know, I don't know why they have him as number 13 and Claxton at number nine. So then we're going to go into like the top power forwards. Uh, I thought I had this up already. All right, whatever. All right, so this is the top power forwards of 23, 24. So that everybody's telling me that, yo, Rashid just put um, um, Nick Claxton at the four position right there. Well, your top, your top power forwards in the NBA, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Anthony Davis. I mean, these are the guys, if we actually want to win a championship, you know, these are the guys that's actually standing in our way, okay? Pascal Siakam. I mean, just, you know, Zion, Cat, uh, Jared Jackson Jr. is a way better player than uh, Nick Claxton. Uh, Laurie Market is definitely better. Uh, Evan Mobley, you would definitely take him over Nick Claxton. Porzingis. Uh, Julius Randle, I say the power forwards are even much better than the damn centers list, man. Aaron Gordon, uh, Kyle Kuzma, you know, definitely these are guys that actually gives us more offense, especially like Kyle Kuzma, even though 
I mean, salary's a lot of money, man. But uh, he at least he averages 21 points a game over here. Uh, we know about Draymond Green. He's definitely, uh, uh, you know, you definitely take him. I mean, he's focused and, you know, have his, has his head on right. He definitely is a high ba uh, IQ basketball player. Uh, let's see what else, what else, who else we have? Uh, Jeremy Grant. Eh. Averages 20 points a game, though. Um, yeah, averages 20 points a game. Claxton is like, I think, 11 and 12. So definitely better than Nick Claxton. Uh, Cameron Johnson. Mm. Uh, I think he's playing out of position over here. They have him as a four. But um, in that four position, though, he was actually playing really, really well. I don't know why Jacques Vaughn actually went away from the... Uh, again, he's just value. He's not an offensive coach. He's a defensive coach. So Cam Johnson, when he was actually playing in this four position, he was actually playing really, really well. Uh, and Jacques Vaughn put him at the three. Uh, Tobias Harris will definitely take him over Nick Claxton. Uh, Miles Bridges. Eh. Uh, Keegan Murray. How much he averages? Yeah, all right, it's the same as Claxton. You know, it's like, you know. Uh, Jabari Smith. John Collins. I'll take Claxton over him. Uh, PJ Washington. And it starts, yeah, Ruchi Rui Hachimura. So we gotta go for like this. All right, so like I said, um, Claxton is 6'11", 215 pounds. So all these guys, like I said, they weigh more than him and they weigh stronger than him. Every single one of these players. We gotta go through the top small forwards in the NBA. So like I said, 6'11", 215 pounds puts, us, puts him at a three. So Tatum, uh, okay, I have to go up. Okay, Tatum, Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James. Damn, they got LeBron at number five. Ooh, ooh. Paul George, Brandon Ingram, Mikel Bridges is definitely better than Claxton. Uh, DeMar, DeMar DeRozan. Because to me, like I said, his position based on his weight is at a small forward position. This is how they really kind of categorize these guys. Chris Middleton, uh, Frank Wagner, uh, averaging 18.6 points per game. All right, so uh, Andrew Wiggins. Nah, I'll take Claxton over him. Uh, Scotty Barnes. Uh, averaging more points than Nick Claxton, though. I don't know, probably if we had him on this team, it would be, would be like a plus four games, I think. RJ Barrett, he's actually starting to play well. How much, how many points he's actually averaging? Almost 20 points a game. Uh, OG Ananobi, uh, 16 points a game, almost 17. Let's round that off, 16.8. Let's round that off to almost 17. Um, Michael Porter Jr. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You see what I'm saying, guys? So why is Charlotte, you see, all right. So from the three to the five position, I mean, all these players are actually better than Nick Claxton. So why is Sean Marks actually really riding this guy? I don't get it. He's a backup, man. He's not a starting caliber player. He's just not. He had nine points. He was like a negative, uh, the last game, I think it was nine or 11 points or something like that. He was a negative nine from the floor. Doesn't really draw contact. He's not strong enough to actually just draw any type of contact from these uh, any of these players over here, man. Especially from the four and five position. He can't draw fouls on Joel Embiid and Jokic. Can't do it. Just doesn't have the offensive game. And if he probably did, he just doesn't have the strength to really kind of, um, you know, just get guys. This is like to get guys to really kind of foul him, man. I mean, he has some athleticism, but you you kind of you can kind of live with the two points. You know, Nick Claxton is really one of our main problems right here, and why we're struggling. You know, listen, guys. I mean, and offense is seriously, seriously important. Um, I know what they used to say: "Yo, defense wins championships, man." But this is this is not football. We gotta play both sides of the basketball here. Um, I think they should, like I said, really get Claxton out of that starting lineup. You gotta do something they lost a lot of games with him you know whatever the, his strengths are aren't really translating into, into any type of wins at all 
and um, you gotta you gotta make a change. And Jacques Vaughn is stubborn because I think he values the defense. But like I said, even on the defensive end, it's just not it's not there. It's like you can look at the plus minuses in itself right there. All right, so definitely like, comment, subscribe. I've been rambling enough. Um, definitely um, share this video, and when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.